Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about solving log equations. So number one, I have ln of e to the one third is equal to x. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is reference a rule that I talked about in a previous video titled properties of logs. I'll link that down in the description below in case you need it as we're going through this lesson. So for ln of e to the one third, the rule that I'm referencing is ln of e to the x. So when I have log of a base and what I'm taking the log of matches that base, so in this case e, they just cancel each other out and I'm left with the exponent. So in this example, since I have ln of e to the one third, the ln and the e cancel each other out and I'm left with x is equal to one third. Number three, log base 64 of one over 16 is equal to x. I'm looking for this number over here. I'm actually gonna rewrite this in exponential form to help me figure this out. So I always start at the base and then I hop around the equal sign. So 64 to the x is equal to one over 16. 64 to the x equals one over 16. I have to think what exponent, what can I raise 64 to and get one over 16? Since I have a fraction here, I know that that exponent is going to be negative. So I'm really just trying to figure out how to get the 64 to be 16. I know the square root of 64 is 8, but that's not really going to help me in terms of getting that to be a 16 because then I can't square that or cube it or anything to get it to be 16. I can try a cube root. I know the cube root of 64 is 4. So if I do the cube root of 64, that gives me four. If I square that, that gives me 16. So I can write 64 as the cube root of 64 squared. That gives me 16. I don't want just 16. I need one over 16. So that means I can raise 64 to the negative two-third power and get one over 16. So my x value that I was looking for is negative two-thirds. Number five, I have log base x of 27 is equal to negative three halves. I'm going to write this one in exponential form as well. So again, I start at the base of the log and hop over the equal sign. So it's x to the negative three halves equals 27. From here, I have a variable raised to an exponent, and I need to get this variable to have an exponent of one. So I'm going to raise this to the reciprocal power. Now the reason this works is because when I have a power to a power, I multiply those exponents. Negative three halves times negative two thirds gives you a positive one. So you're left with x to the one on the left side. Whatever you do to the left, you also have to do to the right. So I'm gonna raise the right side to the negative two thirds as well. To evaluate something with a negative exponent, I'm gonna put that whole thing in the denominator with a positive exponent. So now I have one over 27 to the positive two thirds. And then I'm going to rewrite this exponent in a radical form. So I have the cube root of 27 squared. I'm not going to do 27 squared first because that's going to make the number too big for me to do this in my head. So I'm going to start with the root first. The cube root of 27 is 3. 3 squared gives me 9. So my answer is x equals 1 over 9. Number 7. I have log base 10 of 1 plus x is equal to 3. My variable is trapped inside the log function here, so I'm gonna write this one in exponential form as well. So I start at the base of the log, I hop over the equal sign. 10 to the third is equal to one plus x. From here, I just evaluate. 10 cubed is 1,000, that's equal to one plus x. If I subtract one, I get x is equal to 999. Number nine. I'm first going to use the log rule that says if I have an exponent, I can write this as multiplication in front. So the rule I'm using here is ln of x to the b is equal to b ln x. So in our case, we have 2 ln x is equal to 4. My job is to isolate this variable, so I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. I get ln of x is equal to 2. From here, I rewrite in exponential form. My base, since this is an ln, is e. So I have e to the second is equal to x. Number 11, I'm gonna first start by isolating this variable ln x. So I'm gonna subtract the five first so that I have two ln x is equal to negative one. I divide by two, I get ln x is equal to negative one half. 
rewrite this thing in exponential form, I have e to the negative one over two is equal to x. I don't wanna leave this with a negative exponent, so I'm gonna write this as one over e to the positive half, or you could write it as x equals one over the square root of e. Either is acceptable, we just don't want that negative exponent. Number 13, I have log base five of five to the two x is equal to eight. This is very similar to number one. The base of the log and what I'm taking the log of match, which means these just cancel each other out and I'm left with the exponent 2x is equal to 8. I divide by 2 on both sides, I get x equals 4. In number 15, I have my variable in two different spots, right? I have ln of 4x and then I have a negative 3 ln x squared. My goal here is gonna to be to get this thing in one log rather than two separate logs. So I'm gonna start combining or condensing this side of the equation. The first thing that I'm gonna do is bring this multiplication in front to become an exponent so that I have ln of x squared cubed. When I have a power to a power like that, I multiply those exponents. So I have ln of 4x minus ln of x to the sixth is equal to ln two. When I subtract logs, that's the same thing as taking one log and dividing them. So I have ln of four x over x to the sixth is equal to ln of two. From here, if I have ln of something equal to ln of something, so just one ln on either side of the equation, I know that these two somethings have to be equal to each other. So I can drop the lns and I end up with 4x over x to the sixth is equal to two. And now I can just start solving. So 4x over x to the sixth is the same thing as four over x to the fifth. And then two I can write as two over one. If I cross multiply, I get two x to the fifth is equal to four. Divide by two, I get x to the fifth is equal to two. And now to get rid of this fifth power on the x, I'm gonna have to raise this to the one over five. Whatever I do to the left, I do to the right. My final answer is x equals two to the one over five. 17, same idea as 15, I'm gonna try and get this left-hand side to be just one log first. So rather than keeping this as addition, I'm gonna combine these so that I have log base two of x plus one times two x. If I multiply this out, I have log base two of two x squared plus two x is equal to two. Since my variable is stuck inside the log function, I'm gonna rewrite this in exponential form. So I have two to the second power is equal to two x squared plus two x. From here, I just need to solve this quadratic equation. So I have two x squared plus two x minus four is equal to zero, right? Two squared is four. I just subtract that over, so I end up with this equation down here. I pull out the GCF of two, so I have two times x squared plus x minus two. And now I need to factor, so I'm gonna have x plus two times x minus one equal to zero, which means the two solutions I get are x equals negative two and x equals one. As we've mentioned before, I can't take the log of a negative number, so I just need to check these solutions in this equation up here and see if they're negative or not, just because of this negative two here. So if I plug a negative two in here, negative two plus one is negative one, and I can't do log two of negative one. So I actually have to reject this solution. If I check the x equals one, one plus one is two, that's okay. Two times one is two, that's okay. So the only solution I end up with for number 17 is x equals one. That's it for solving log equations. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Have a great day.